P.O.D. or P.O.D. as I call them. Mm -hmm. I don't. No. XFM 104.9. It's the Ricky Gervais Show. With Steve Merchant. Yeah. So Dermot O'Diddley. Yes. Three weeks and weeks, weeks and weeks in a row he doesn't even turn up and now suddenly he's all over breakfast. I noticed, yeah, he's standing in for the breakfast show. Why weren't we asked to do that? Well, That's we quite were. Upsetting. Were we? Yeah. I didn't know about this. Yeah, but I don't want to get up that early, do I? Sure, sure. Uh, I feel a bit hungover today, actually. Do you? Yeah. What's happening? What, what, were you partying last night, were you? Well, not partying, we just went out, went out for a couple of drinks, then had a meal and then went to the borderline and saw about, I'll tell you about that, it's good. You saw uh, a band? That's the first yeah. time in years, isn't it? It, it is, yeah. Lucky. Yeah, because, uh, no, so, uh, you know John Sim, the actor? Mm, not really. He's in this band, like, called Magic, Magic Alex, and it was really good, they're sort of like, sort of like a friendly oasis, they got, you know, sort of yeah, quite, yeah, yeah. M you know, it's quite mank sort of feel, but it's really good, good songs and everything. Is nice. he the singer? Yeah, no, he's a guitarist, nice right. cool. But, it was full of actors, because it, because it, and I felt quite tall. That's ludicrous, because you're See, a very short man. Well, I am. I'm sort of, um, I was average, but now I'm not, I don't think, mm. five foot eight, that's right. But there, I was like, quite, it was like Lilliput. <laughs> so I just, I just got to hang out at actors <laughs> do. So all right, I'm like, yeah. This is the reason, because act actors are often very, quite handsome people, but yet they're always quite yeah, we obnoxious. Yeah, we are, we are, we are, we are. No, I mean, they're normally quite obnoxious, Rick. Again, you know, you're a good example <laughs> of that. <laughs> and yet, yet, I think it must be the small man complex, that's what makes them so obnoxious and so kind of desperate for attention. Didn't right. realise it before. Steady on. Because of course I tower above everyone. You do, don't you? I'm, uh, for people who don't know who are listening, I'm six foot seven inches tall. That's, 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 that's high. Yeah. That's and, big. and, and, um, for people who've never seen him, he doesn't hold it well. It's not like he's a sort of handsome athlete, is it, Carl? He's a bit of a, what, what do you call him? A t Carl, don't answer No, 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 no. Don't get drawn into that. No, no, you know, you know, you know the game he's playing. No, 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 no. Do you know yesterday when you were in the office? Yeah. You did a little move <laughs> and it reminded me of Blakey. <laughs> I thought, I thought oh, I hate you, Gervais. Oh, I hate you, Pilkington. That sort of stance. Yeah, but even he was, he held it a little bit better, didn't he? Because he was a man, you know, yeah. he had a big coat and everything, a peak cap. But, uh, yeah. I can't believe you. Like, I've not suffered enough from being freakishly tall. Now, two of my best buddies, yeah. live on radio, are just It's not know. just the height, though, is it? It's the <laughs> posture and the face and everything. But it's got your places, hasn't oh. it? <laughs> no. What do you no, mean? It's got me places. I think I think people give you a bit more of a chance in in your career and stuff. Cause it's like, oh. what? Well, yeah, stacking shelves. Because <laughs> I can reach to a high level. <laughs> <laughs> Muse, plug in, baby, on XFM one hundred four point nine. Ricky go on. Well, yeah, but I know you guys are laughing about the height thing, and uh, for those that have only just tuned in, I am six foot seven inches tall, which is which is tall, and that's big. And I, you know, I pride myself on it in a way. You know, I've worked hard. I've not smoked. I <laughs> ate well. You know, yeah. it's an accomplishment. But obviously, I didn't have much involvement in it. I just am, and it's a curse because mainly the problem is that you you can't get stuff. You can't get clothes. You can't get shoes. You know? Yeah, size he's size, size fourteen feet. Yeah, that's. It, but it is genuine, and I don't know. I mean, it costs a lot to buy a pair of size fourteen shoes, and it, so I don't. I mean, if you were poor, if you were genuinely poor, I don't know how you'd afford to be tall because the clothing costs more. Everything costs. I've more. I've seen this in comics that you'd you'd actually go to school in a barrel, wearing a barrel with right. just braces. It'd yeah. just be a barrel, like that, and you'd have sort of flip flops, uh, <laughs> and you'd um, take a mule yeah. with you. They all had a mule, didn't they? The but poor people. people. Think wearing a barrel with right. just braces, it'd yeah. just be a barrel, like, and you'd have sort of flip flops, uh, <laughs> and you'd um, take a mule yeah. with you. They all had a mule, didn't they? The but poor people, people always think like it, that they like you'll be in a pub or something, and people. I mean, people just think they can talk to you about it. They just think, hey, oh, you, you lanky, you, uh. it's just like because it's like. They but think, that really annoys you, doesn't it? Well, it annoys me because it's like they think I should be proud of it. Like well, exactly, but that they don't think that this uh, this is not a disadvantage. This is not a disability. Is it? You're you're taller than most people. It might it get a disability. To, no, no, no. If you was if you were eight foot three be slightly disabilitating, you would, you know, but... Disabilitating? You, you're, you're, what? <laughs> disabilitating? <laughs> yeah. No, you're a medical man, aren't you, eh? <laughs> But, no, the point is, it's a disabilitating because <laughs> you go on public transport. Like, if you're on a coach... Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You, the only place I can sit on a coach is that seat... On the driver's <laughs> lap. Either, either on the driver's lap or that seat at the very end, yeah. you know, where, which is kind of, which sits into the aisle. Yeah. That's the only place I can well, sit. Why don't you st and stand, stand up, some sort of stand up. the back, waving at drivers. You could drive it from the back. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes, watch it. Yeah. I were, went, were you a tall baby? Mrs. <laughs> 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 Mrs. Merchant, uh, you've given birth to a basketball player. <laughs> Look at his dribble already. Were you a tall baby? Babies aren't tall. Oh, what, All I, right. At what point did did you suddenly like Jesus? Nothing fits me. <laughs> 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 well, 
<laughs> it didn't happen overnight, Carl. Let's I do a little graph. How tall are you at five? Oh, I don't know. Three foot. Three foot. How tall are you at twelve? Six foot. Six foot? Are you really? I don't know, do I? How do I remember? I don't remember this. Well, when did teachers start calling you freak boy and really, lanky? They didn't. They was, it wasn't didn't they? So much. It was, no. He went to a funny school. <laughs> I went bowling with him once. Well, I'd never been bowling before, and he'd been once before, and he went, let's go to this bowl. We went to a bowling alley, right? And, um, you have to wear these special shoes. Now, they're, they're sort of like pointed things anyway, and they're, um, multi-coloured, sort of red and green. Like, they look pretty weird. And, uh... And the woman said to me, oh, what size? I said, oh, eight. She went, yeah. She went, what size are you? She went, 14. She went, 14. He went, you probably haven't got them. He goes, she goes, yeah, I think we have got one pair. And she put them on the table and it was like Krusty the Clown. And I just started laughing. They looked so long and he had to run around this bowling alley in these freaky clown yeah, but shoes. But they don't look freaky clown like when I'm wearing them because the rest of me is in proportion to it. It looks like a little wall bracket. The worst thing, the one of the worst things that happened to me was when I was like, I don't know, when I was about 16 or something, we went to, um... It's a fire uh, there's alarm a fire alarm going off. There's a fire alarm going off. And the off fire the lights way. going off. Yeah. Should 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 we not just should maybe play a record way. and go and check that out? Wrap it up if you want. Oh, no, no, not wrap it up. Play a record. I'm going to go. No, the See fire has gone off, Rick. It's gone off. Oh, well, we might have burned down. Yeah, I think we'd know about it. The flames licking around our ankles would be a clue. God. I'm going to go and investigate. Oh, you shut shouldn't up. ignore a oh, fire alarm. Yeah. Blimey. <laughs> We're entertaining oh, the look. nation. Oh, look at him. He's scared of fire. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Mercury Rev, the dark is rising. That's a good song, isn't it? I noticed that your um, investigating the fire mainly involved wandering out into the office, looking around a bit, then coming back. Yeah. What did you find out? There was no fire. There was no fire. No. Right. right. But I love how it. Imagine that though. Imagine like, that there's a fire and there's loads of firemen. They go get back and you go to the fireman. All oh, get back. 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 Oh look at him. I would. Back. I would. I'd actually yeah. justify to. Okay. There's heavy shelling, lads. Retreat. Oh back, Sarge. I'm sorry. <laughs> back, Sarge. Yeah. Just there was a fire. Like, I'd never seen it before. A fire thing going off. There was a fire. Alarm. I thought, oh, let's at least have a look if there's a fire. That's all I thought. See, there's some official coming in now. To tell us we should have been running out. There's no fire. Yeah, well, you can't just stop entertaining, you know, the people of London just because there's a fire. This isn't the Titanic. <laughs> well, true. I don't have to carry on playing. I don't I, know. It feels I, like a bit of a sinking shit. Here we go. Nice one. Oh, nice one. I don't know who oh. I'm dragging off then. Probably me. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, listen, let me just tell you briefly. This this is a, another example of of how people can just exploit you and make fun of you when you're tall. Yeah. Um, I was quite tall. I've always been like about six foot seven for quite a while now. And when I was about 16, um, I went to a, a big New Year's celebration in Bristol, where I come from. And they, everyone kind of congregates in this big sort of part of town, and there's all people dancing around, like in Trafalgar Square. And um, I was there, and I, for somehow I sort of, I just picked up a balloon somewhere along the line, one of those kind of helium sort of balloons, and I was holding that, sort of dancing around. And um, these two girls came up to me, and I was thinking, yeah, okay, you know, it's New Year's Eve, brilliant, you know, that's, the, that's the, my kind of party. Yeah. And they came up, and they went, hey. Once a year. And they went, <laughs> they said, uh, you're going to be here for long? And I went, well, maybe. And they said, it's just that we've arranged to meet back at you <laughs> in about an hour. I went, what do you mean? I went, well, it's just because we can see you wherever you are. <laughs> Don't worry, you can move around and stuff. We'll see you with the balloon. Just arranged uh, to meet some friends. I love that. A landmark. So, like, so the pilots use that. Oh, we're just coming in. Uh, there's, uh, we'll be, uh, 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 when we see Steve Merchant, we'll be descending <laughs> to Bristol Temple Mead. What's really funny is New Year's Eve, Trafalgar Square, you've got a huge column, but they use yeah. Steve as, like, the meeting point. Steve's got a huge funny. column. Brilliant, Rick. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Award-winning comedy from Ricky Jones. Happy Monday. T took you back, didn't it? Happy Mondays there, Manxy. Now, Carl's, like, really getting down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Got come any on. Vera's? Oh, come on, Mel. Ah. Did it take you back, did it? Yeah. How old are you? 29. So you were, oh, you were just going in, uh, out of your teens. I'm a Virgo. No. What? No. Yeah. That, that, no. You don't understand. It's just, uh, I'm Rick, a Virgo. Rick, I thought we discussed about involving Carl. <laughs> yeah, sorry, discussion. yeah. The yeah. management have told us we're just not allowed to do it. <laughs> We've had emails from people. Yeah. Please don't it's speak to Carl. It's cruel. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm a cusp. Can I just make an appeal? I don't want to- On the cusp, the Virgo, he said. <laughs> Still going through with it. Doesn't know what's going on, does he? <laughs> Just wave bright objects at him. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and we've got a competition this, Steve. We have, but before we mention that, Go on. can I just ask something? For, I don't want to exploit our position on the radio. No. But I wonder, because I'm very tall, and it's very tricky for me to get size 14 shoes and big clothes and stuff, can I just get people to send some stuff? If, if like, maybe they own a shop which Yeah, but it'd be, it'd be things like homemade clogs That's that people cool. have carved out of the chunks of wood they found That's in whatever. the shed. Whatever. It's not really great. America. When I was in America, uh, everyone says to me, oh, you go to America. It is a cool. I'm out of my own skin. <laughs> Um, when I was in America, everyone told me that like, it would be, re you know, really easy to get big clothes and big shoes and that, because they're all huge and all freaks over there. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I steady on. <laughs> I was wandering around New York, and I was going in a few shops, kind of saying, you know, we've got size 14, US 15 shoes, and they were going, no, they, we want <laughs> Is that the difference? Yeah. One. And they literally were laughing at me. There was a couple of shops where they literally laugh and get, like, someone else in and come and look at the tall, freaky Englishman. Really? And then one guy said, oh, I remember we had someone come in here once, and he said he'd been to a shop which sold kind of stuff for really tall people, and, and, um... And he said, I think I can remember the address, and he sort of looked through the, the sort of telephone direction, he made a note of it. And I went on the subway, and I went through, and all Lily put. And I, and I went, and it took me ages to get in, and really hard to find it. And I finally went in there, I've never seen it, it was heaving, right, with freaks. It really? Was amazing. They were, it was like, they were just kind of gargoyles, it was like something from Lord of the Rings. They were just kind of these tall people and kind of gnarled. Did they turn around and things. start bowing to you? It was incredible. Yeah. And I went in and I just said, hi, I'm looking for a kind of da 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 sort of thing. I went, yeah, sure, and he sort of hobbled off into the darkness and came back with exactly the kind of pair of shoes I wanted. I couldn't believe my luck. It might be a magic shop. But it was like, it was like that shop in, um, Mr. Ben. It might have been a dream though, yeah. you see. <laughs> Did you, have you still actually got the shoes? No. Because when Mr. Ben sort of like, goes back and wakes up next day, he finds like a feather in his pocket where he remembers he, he was as a, you know, a 17th century sort of squire or something, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> ah, the classic episode of Mr. Ben when he becomes <laughs> a 17th century <laughs> squire. <laughs> oh, oh uh, dear. Mr. Ben learns to play the harpsichord. But, uh, it's uh, like, when Mr. Ben, that, that black shopkeeper goes, right, are you going to pay for that? You're, yeah, not, you're not just going to go yeah. through that door and then have an adventure and come back, oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> no, you're not, you're barred. Yeah. You just make me sick, we, we wait nothing from you. <laughs> Well, I'm not in this for your amusement, Mr. Ben. Is it only Ben who's got the insider knowledge about the magical doorway, or...? I don't know, because that, that fella in the fez doesn't seem to have anyone else there. No, rarely. He's always grinning, though. He knows yeah. something. I, I'm not sure. Uh, it's not a documentary, though, is it? It's a, it's, <laughs> it's a kid's show, isn't it? I'm trying to remember. No, it's uh, not. It's just a kid's show, so anything sure. can happen. Yeah. That's yeah. A, a lot of people make that mistake sure. when they slag off something like Scooby-Doo or oh. Thundercats. It's not, not really not reality. Real. It's just a kid's... Well, but they, Mr. Ben, they were all on drugs, weren't they? Like Magic Roundabout. My mate fancied <laughs> Cheetera from Thundercats. I Cheetera. Um, Which one was Cheetera? I quite like she was. She was, she was the lovely, she was a lovely cat. Yeah, she was a real dish. What's the, what's the, what's the sexiest cartoon? Uh, I'm glad you've asked. Um, a lot of people say Jessica Rabbit. They do, and they'd be right to say that because she's actually human. She's not an animal, which is good. What? Isn't she? No, no. She's she's a normal woman married to a rabbit. <laughs> no, yeah, she's yeah, not. She's, yeah, Jessica Rabbit. Is that what she got a surname, Rabbit? But yeah, she's not actually. She's a rabbit. married Roger Rabbit, but she's not actually a rabbit. She's a glamorous woman. Is she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, never yeah. seen it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the weird thing about it. That's weird, though, isn't it? It is weird. The idea of a rabbit having sex with a beautiful woman. That, that is the weirdest thing about it. How does that make you feel? Annoyed, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> Yeah. But I bought some bunny ears just after I saw the film. Oh, hip hop. You got your hip hop Oh, track. yeah, good. No, 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 um, this album was uh, rated by a lot of people last year. And uh, my sources tell <laughs> me that it's being re released and re recorded this yeah. year. Anyway, Nerd are the outfit. Uh, they're better known as the Neptunes, who are kind sure. of, uh, sort of hip hop R&B producers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think yeah, this track yeah, may yeah. have featured on a giveaway CD. It did. On the NME. It did. Anyway, it's Dynamite. It's from the album In Search of by Nerd, and it's Bobby James. Play it. Nerd from the album In Search Of, and that's Bobby James. It's brilliant. It's great. Isn't it's, it? it's really bit. It reminds me a little bit of um, Warren G. That that chorus. Sure. Yeah. 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 And, and apparently the album, uh, I don't. It's, it was on kind of limited release, so it's quite tricky to get hold of. But as I say, I think they're re-releasing it. Well, you should tape off the radio because we're doing yeah. lots of features. Yeah. No, I'll maybe play that again in the future. Just tape it off. I'll tell you what. I'll play the whole album over the course of like, the next couple of weeks. Yeah, and we're just. Tell I mean, you know. We're what we've got enough us talking, we just go now and you I mean, can we press can't play and record. Say, we can't advocate you tape off the radio because that's breaking. No,